They were beaten by the Dutch, of course, in the women's sprint. They've won the other two. So there's the lineup. Netherlands, Ireland, Great Britain, Poland, Belgium, Ukraine, Germany, and the Czech Republic. Britain, who were second, second, and then the winners back in 2014. On the inside, the Netherlands, led off by Bonavaccia, who ran so well to make the 400 final. Lee Marvin, Bonavaccia. Then Ireland, Dregan, Lynch, Gillick, and Barr, looking for a good time to try to get the Olympic qualifying. Then Britain, Rabbi Youssef, the world finalist, Elena Williams, brilliant in his heat. Then Jack Green, and then the national champion, Matthew Hudson-Smith, the British number one. Didn't run the individual event, though. Kravchuk, Kozlowski, Trezvina, and Omelko is the Polish team. Then the Borlays, led off by Julian Watrin, then to Jonathan, to Dylan, to Kevin Borlay. Ukraine, Danilenko, Hutsol, Burakov, and Butrim. Lane seven, we find Germany, Treffs, Schneider, Garba, and Schmidt. And then the Czech Republic, their top man, Maslak, on the second leg. Tessal to Maslak, to Vizensky, to Sorm. They ran quite well without Maslak in the heat. No, he ran in the second leg again, didn't he? I just think he didn't finish it, because Sorm did, but uh, they've kept the same order. Got a quizzical look there. <laughs> so, Bonavaccia, Ireland, Britain, Poland, Belgium, Ukraine, Germany, and the Czech Republic. Britain won in 2014, Belgium won in 2012. And they go in lanes three and five, respectively. Off they go in this final event. Rabbi Youssef running for Great Britain out there in lane three. Julian Watrin, the Belgian, will hand over to the Borlays. And a very good start by Kravchuk, Poland as well. But Watrin is uh, doing his job all right for Belgium because he's up on the Ukrainian outside him, gone past him indeed, making tracks to follow the outside runners, which are um, from Germany and the Czech Republic. So, not much to choose between them. Certainly Belgium running very strongly, and Poland. Britain just perhaps a little way back, but there is the stagger to consider. As uh, for Britain, we've got Delano Williams. Well, he was marvellous in his uh, first uh, leg, and he's uh, taken the lead now after a 45-5 leg by Yusuf. And the Dutchman is into contention here now. After Bonavaccia did a good leg, we've got Terence Agard now, and he's on the shoulder of Delano Williams of Britain. Then we have the Belgian first of the Borlays, Jonathan Borlay running here. Not good in the individual, but good in the relay and the heat. Then Poland and Germany just behind them. The other three seem to be out of it. But it's Delano Williams who's going to lead Britain into the lead again. And a strong finish by Borle. And also the Germans coming up very well. Jack Green takes over for Britain. Just behind him is Dylan Borle, the youngest of the Borle brothers. Then it's close because it's Poland and the Netherlands and Germany together. Those five teams detached from the other three. So there is a charge on from... Uh, the back there, but they'll think there's only a look at the way the Dutchman's going through though now. This is Blauhoff. Well, has he blown it too quickly? Jack Green leading the 400 hurdler leads for Britain, followed by Dylan Borley, followed by the Dutchman, who I think may have blown it a little too quickly. And then comes the pole. And the Dutchman is paying for it now indeed, as I rather thought he might do. So now it's Hudson Smith taking over, the British number one, after a 45-7 leg by Green. Williams, incidentally, ran 45 flat. So it's Britain from Belgium. Belgium have Kevin Borlay on this leg. And then Poland, 
Good consistent running by the poles throughout this race. Well, Melko, their top man, is on this last leg, but it's Matthew Hudson-Smith coming back into top form. The British athlete didn't run the individual leg, which was run by his compatriot, Martin Rooney, and they haven't even run Rooney in this uh, final relay. But now he's being challenged by Kevin Borle. Kevin Borle is coming up, and also Amelka for Poland. What a finish this is. Borle and Hudson Smith tied up completely, and he's back in third as Borle brings Belgium home, and Amelka takes the silver for both. And Hudson Smith tied up completely, lost his form, and the Britons end up third, and that's a big surprise. But a splendid run by the Borlays, plus Watrin, who really got off Belgium to a terrific start. And the winning time there, 3-0-1-1, and didn't Amelko finish strongly also for Poland. A thrilling race, Belgium, Poland, and Britain. Well, I'd love to know what Amelko's split is on that last leg. I think he was the fastest of them all, but uh, we'll wait and see what the analysis tells us. But wasn't that a terrific run there from the Belgians? I mean, Jonathan Borle, after such a miserable time in the individual 400 metres, really redeemed himself there. Dylan ran up to expectations. Now, Kevin Borle, 2010 European champion, hasn't really been in that sort of form over the last year or two. But when you put those three together with whoever else is on their team, it's almost the Borle Belgian team. They are a formidable outfit, and look at this. The, just the sheer tenacity of Kevin Borley. He is gritting his teeth over those final few metres. He hasn't unclenched them yet. That's what determination and team spirit can do for you. If you'd have looked at their performances this season, you'd have thought the Belgians perhaps have medal chances but they brought them through to the gold so they're back in the form they showed four years ago when they won the gold medal they've got three ball A's now they only had two then Dylan has joined them <laughs> well, I think we should give a shout out for Julian Watteran who did a Indeed. good job on the first leg Belgium take the gold medal in 30110 from Poland 30118 Britain 30144 those three teams in this thrilling race well clear of the rest of the field